Welcome to the Hollywood Rock City Show. And this goes out to Dizzy Damage. This is, uh, he, he was the bass player in the Glamour Punks and the band that started it all in Hollywood. That, this particular style. A uh, lot, like everyone pretty much, a lot of people, like a lot of bands uh, followed suit after this. Anyways, uh, this is a, a clip from a documentary that was never released. And it was the por- like a portion of it's talking about Dizzy, where the band members talk about Dizzy. And I just wanted to play that. It's uploaded by Alley Kratz Scratch Music. I hope they don't mind. I'm just going to basically, it's like a minute and a half long. I'm just going to basically play it because it really gives you an idea of uh, who he is or who he, who he was. <laughs> Dizzy was uh, a big kid and funny. I mean, if you needed to laugh, that guy was there to make you laugh. Just an amazing individual, showman. I mean, loved his craft. Amazing songwriter. I miss him in it. There's not a day that goes by that I don't I don't think of him in one way or another. Remember, me and Dizzy had some problems. He just was insanely punk rock. He smashed a beer bottle on my head one time. And it, you know, gave me a little black eye. I freaked out, and then I went upstairs and whipped my fist, came back down, and threw a, uh, what did I throw? oh, I threw a bottle at him, and then he, and then he, and I missed him, and he got by the fireplace, and I picked up the fire poker, and I was like, God, but I didn't do anything. Then after that, we kind of became friends. Right before he moved from L.A., um, I was staying with him, and he was staying with his girl Sunshine. And again, we didn't have no jobs, so Sunshine basically was supporting both of us at that time. So it was nice that I got to be good friends with him in the last six months. I hadn't even thought about the glamour punks in so long, but when Dizzy died, then, like, the glamour punks really died. All of that died with him for me, you know? But to this day, it was like this thing that I made it out of that he never made it out of and never really lived life. And, you know, when you die at 24, that's so young, you know? Now I realize how young that is. I mean, fuck, he was a kid still. Fucking kid, bro. Wow. Now, it never came. It didn't come soon. So, I, but I have a feeling that they're going to actually I, put it out. The original lineup uh, is actually getting back t- together. I've seen them talk about this online. And, uh, and actually, I think even Mickey might have posted something about it in one of uh, my videos. But um, um, they're going to have, St- they have Stacy's the original bass player, actually. I didn't even realize that. I thought that Dizzy was the original bass player. But, it, uh, but then I was reading, no, it was original bass player, Stacy. I don't remember his last name. I'm sorry about that. But, um, but I'm like, amazing. And they're actually having Mickey come out, which is, uh, to me, like, one of the coolest freaking guitar players. When I saw this band, I couldn't believe how cool this band was. And it was, you know, it was uh, this lineup, actually, with Dizzy and Mickey. And even the lineup afterwards was amazing, but... You know, when you th- th- when I saw this lineup, it was a no joke. <laughs> I was like, "Wow!" Anyways, there you go.